John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. And in this video, we're going to taste test Costa Rican snacks. So we have a range of Costa Rican snacks in front of us here. Some are homemade and some of them are store-bought. Uh, so we have some empanadas, which are sweet. They were made by our Airbnb host. We have some Costa Rican chocolates, which were bought from a local farmer's market here in San Jose. We've got a cajeta, which is a Costa Rican fudge. And this one was given to us to celebrate 200 years of Costa Rican independence. Mini Yippies, which are a local confectionery, which were bought- Mega Super. Mega Super, which is a local supermarket here in Costa Rica. And then we've got a mini snack pack. We got a huge bag of these from our local supermarket, Maxi Parley and they have cheese and corn chips and yeah all sorts of different things so i'm looking forward to trying those out and then we've got some more cajetas which we bought in la fortuna. la fortuna and that was to support the local church and that's got a few different flavors of coconut fudge so what do you feel like trying first Ooh, let's go the empanada yeah this looks really nice. So thank you to our Airbnb hosts here in San Jose for making this for us. This looks beautiful. It's nice and light. Mm. Mm. That pastry is really nice, quite light and flaky. Yeah, so it's not, there's not cheese inside. It's more like, like a fudgy sort of like a caramel. caramel. Mm. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this is good. Our Airbnb host here in San Jose is so lovely. Both of them, they're a couple. And they keep giving us all these nice little treats to eat. We're so spoiled. We've been very spoiled. We'll put the link in the description because we highly recommend coming to this place. And they also gave us this car header to celebrate independence here in Costa Rica. So let's give this a try next. So what date was independence in Costa Rica? The 15th of September, the bicentenary. So 200 years of independence from Spain. And that's not just Costa Rica, that's all of Central America. Yeah, yeah, so congratulations to Central America. For this is. Yeah, for this big milestone. Wanna grab a bit? Oh, this looks really nice. So it's got little flakes of some sort of nut, maybe peanut. So yeah, this is supposed to be mani flavored, which is peanut flavored. Oh, right. And it's got some little red things in there as well. There's a milk fudge element to it as well. Mm. I really like any sort of milk fudge. And I think the, the peanut's quite subtle, other than the chunks of peanut. The, the peanut flavor's subtle until you get a bite of peanut. This is really good. I don't like things that are overpoweringly sweet, and I think this has a good balance of flavor. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's not overly sweet, if you say. Yeah, and it's got quite a smooth texture. Not too crumbly, it holds together quite well. Yeah, so that's good. Should we try the other car headers next? Why not? Yeah, so we've got a variety of different coconut ones here. I think it's just coloured differently. Oh, okay. And they're all coconut flavoured. Hmm. Get some of the, the reddish coconut. Yeah, so that's got a bit more of a grainy texture. Yeah, that's a lot more sweet, hey? Yeah, it is. Mm. I guess it's predominantly coconut. Yeah, yeah. And mixed coconut. Yeah, which is still really nice. I love coconut. Mm. I love sweetness too. Yeah, this is... <laughs> That's like pure sugar. You're going to be bouncing off the walls after this. Yeah, it's really good though. Very Moorish. I can't taste too much a difference between the different colours. So I'm assuming it's just different colouring that, that makes it different. We bought three because we wanted to try each of the different flavours, but it seems like they're all pretty much the same and it's just the look of them. But yeah, all very nice. And how much were these? Oh. I think it was a thousand colones for three, three different flavors. Yeah, so that works out at a bit under two dollars US. Mm. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing we're going to try is this mix of snacks, mixed chips. So this came in a massive variety pack, but we got a bit hungry before <laughs> we started filming this, and we ended up demolishing most of it. It's really good, but let's try it for you now. So it's got a mix of pellets de trigo. Oh, it's wheat. Wheat? Sweet, yeah. So wheat pellets. Nacho de maize sabor, which is nachos corn flavor. Uh -huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then we've got queso cheese, chili, and lime. This whole massive thing was on special at Maxi Parley, so we couldn't resist. Okay, so what are we going to try first? These little ring things? Yeah, pretty nice. A puffed wheat sort of taste to it. It's quite a subtle flavour. There's not too much seasoning on this one, I don't think. Uh, I think it's, it's enough. It's got a nice crunch to it. This one's been in the packet for a few days now, so it's losing a little bit of a crunch. But So I think when you buy the big packets, they want you to eat them quickly. And yeah, there, there's usually no problem with that in our household. So these are fun little wheel-shaped things. So these have more seasoning on them. Yeah, these ones I think are one of my favourites. Yeah, I like those. It's got a little bit of a little bit of a kick to it. Yeah, is this the chili lime one? Yeah, you yeah, it's probably the chili lime. Mm. That's good. Yum. And then we've got these rectangular ones. Are they like chicharron? Are they? Oh yeah, yeah. They, they look, look like bacony. Bacony. Yeah, I like that too. Mm. I think it's a, a similar flavour. Yeah. Sort of the lime and and chilli. Yeah, so they've got a few different shapes here. Um, but yeah, all of them are nicely flavoured and yeah, really nice and crispy and yeah, just make you want to go back for more. So we've got um, more of the corn nacho, nacho chips. Mm. A pretty good corn chip. Yeah. Pretty standard. I think out of all of them, they're the least interesting to me, just because, you know, you can have corn chips in a lot of places, whereas I think the other ones I find a bit more unusual, so... Yeah. And then we've got these cheese kind of ones. These remind me of cheesels, mm. or the look of them anyway. Yeah, these are good as well. Yeah. Quite light and airy. Yeah, so that tastes like a cheesel, if you're familiar with cheesels, and that's good. What I like about this is just the combination of all the different snacks. It's quite a complete party mix. It is, it is. And the bag was like, it was massive, wasn't it? Yep. And how much was it, do you remember? 1500 colones. Something like that, 1500, 1600. Yeah, so a it bit... It was on special, I think it's usually... More like eighteen twenty. Yeah, so it's around three dollars US. Yeah. Mm. That's pretty decent value. Yeah. Um, yeah, and usually for chips we found in Central America, it's not that cheap. So this value pack, it's pretty good. Okay, now let's move on to the mini yippee. Yippee! Yippee! Sounds really fun. The orange packaging is matching our couch, which is kind of <laughs> nice. And they're individually wrapped as well. Fun size. Yeah, we've noticed this in Central America. A lot of the uh, biscuits or different types of confectionery are individually wrapped as well within the overall big package. Yeah, which I guess makes for an easy way to on sell them. We have found Going around the streets in San Jose, there were people selling like individual lollipops. That's an interesting way to make some extra money. So I, I assume mini yippies being individually packaged would be good for on selling as well. Here it is. Oh, it's like a wafer biscuit, just wrapped in chocolate. 
my chocolate's glistening. Yeah, I really like this. Well, this is pretty nice. Yeah, so you've got different layers of wafer, and then I think in between, you've got little bits of cream between the different layers of wafer, and just coat it all around in chocolate. Is there anything that this would remind you of in Australia? I think there's a wafer biscuit like, a, like <clears throat> much thinner than this, not, not as many uh, wafer layers. layers. Yeah. yeah, but like a thin wafer biscuit coated in chocolate. I think there's something sort of similar, but not, not quite this scale. <laughs> yeah, I think this would be nice with like a coffee or a mm. tea. Yeah. It's good like afternoon snack. Yeah, I like this. I like the the texture of it. It's got a bit of a crunch from the layers, but it's quite soft. It's kind of cakeish, would you say? Yeah. Yeah, it's mm. nice. And how how sweet would you say this is compared to Oh, I'd say it's pretty sweet. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so not quite as sweet as the car headers, but... Not sweeter than the party mix. <laughs> well, obviously. Yeah, this is really good. Mm. Okay, so now we're going to get into the Costa Rican chocolate. But before we do that, if you're liking the video so far, don't forget to give it a like and leave us a comment. We read and respond to every single comment and we always love to hear what you think, so let us know. And if you're liking Costa Rica content or Central American content, we do plenty of videos about traveling around this beautiful area. And make sure you subscribe. Okay, so now let's get into the Central American chocolate. So we've got four different flavors that we chose from here. And we got, I think it was like, yeah, it was 500, Colonies per little chocolate here, so that's like, I guess, a bit on a yeah, eighty cents per thing. Which, uh, it's not that it's bad. All right, um, and it's good quality chocolate. So we've got uh, apple and canela, which is cinnamon, cinnamon and apple, and then we've got egos, which. You know what? I've forgotten the translation for a lot of these, but there's um, there's cranberry, I think, and we've got some sort of some seeds. sort of seeds. Samias de girasol and aran aran danos. Yeah, she explained the flavors to me, but it's gonna it's completely left my memory. So. Anyway, let's start with the apple and cinnamon. This is 70% chocolate. And it's a dark chocolate. Wow, it looks very thick. Mm. It's very smooth. Yeah. Mm. It's not overly sweet. So this is a dark chocolate, so you'd expect it to be I guess a bit more towards the bitter side, but it's not bitter either. It's just a really nice balanced flavor. Can you taste the apple and the cinnamon? It's very subtle. No, it's very chocolate forward, I'd say. I think I can get a little bit of that cinnamon. Oh yeah, okay, right. I, I got like... A burst of it. A burst of it, yeah. Mmm. Yeah, this is interesting. Where's my so, burst? I don't have any burst. So what's what's the brand here? So the brand seems to be Tierra Gourmet, which is a organic Costa Rican chocolate. So excellent quality, and you can tell the quality just by biting into it. It's yeah, just really smooth. It's really nice flavour. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far. Okay, okay. what's next? Samia's de Hirasol. Do you want to crack it open? Rip it open. Okay. Oh, it's oh. 
sunflower seeds. Oh, sunflower seeds. Here's salt. Alright, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Is there a bit of salt or something? Oh, yeah. Mmm. Yeah. You can taste the salt, saltiness of it. Mmm. The sunflower seeds, yeah, they're not, they're not kind of crunchy, are they? They're kind of just, they're quite soft. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Got a big dose of salt. Yeah, it kind of goes up your nose a bit, eh? <laughs> Clears out your sinuses. Yeah. Interesting. I wouldn't say that's my favourite. Yeah, I think I like the other one better. Yeah. Mm. All right. And then we've got cranberry. You can do the honours. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. Ooh. So you can... Bring it up to the screen. You see that? You see cranberry bits in here. Yum. Okay. I love cranberry, so... Yeah, I think cranberry and chocolate. Oh, yeah, it's a winning combination. Oop. It's going to be good. Mm. Yeah, this feels very Christmassy to me, do you think? Mm. I do like fruit and chocolate. I think that's always a good combination. Yeah, no, I like, I like this one. Mm. Yeah, cranberry and chocolate, winning combination. Definitely. It's really nice. Mm. <sighs> we have the last one. Egos. Now, I've forgotten, I've forgotten what Egos is. Oh, so you've heard of Egos yeah, before? Yeah, yeah, I have. Oh, is it fig? Oh, yes. Yes. Is that fig? Is it? No. So, you can see, um, yeah, so I like how you can actually see the real bits of fruit inside. That's quite a nice touch. Just wondering with the first one whether we just didn't snip it over. Maybe there was a bit of an apple, apple down the bottom. Floating in it? Oh, no, it didn't look like it. Okay, is it? Nicely candied, hey. Mm. Well, whatever it is, it's really nice. It's got like a jammy kind of consistency. Mm. Jelly. Mm. But yeah, this chocolate is just so smooth. Oh. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So if you come to Costa Rica, make sure you fill up on, on Costa Rican chocolate because, yeah, this is really good. You can also do cacao farm tours. And yeah, there's lots of chocolate stores around as well. So the chocolate culture is pretty, pretty ingrained here. So make sure you don't miss out. Oh, it's delicious, isn't it? Now, how do we find all of the different... Oh, we're going to rank them, are we? Let's rank them, eh? Hey? Well, I can't go past chocolate. I love chocolate. Mm. So... These two are going to be up towards the highest for me. I think the chocolates, the gourmet chocolates, number one for me. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely beautiful quality. You can tell that you've got the best here. This is really, really good quality chocolate. Out of those four, what flavours did you like? Oh, I think they were all good. The one I liked the least was the one that had that big rush of salt to it. The sunflower. Yeah, the sunflower. Probably cranberry, the cranberry one the best. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I agree. I quite liked this one, the Egos, as well. So I'd say I'd probably put that next. You agree? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then the apple and cinnamon and then the sunflower. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, for the rest of them, I think it's really down to what you feel like at the time. I'm really more of a savoury person, so I love these snacks. And, yeah, like, I, I basically demolished half, half of a massive packet in the space of two days. And I had to restrain myself and not eat any further before... Ooh, is that a thunderstorm starting? Yep. Yeah, so I had to restrain myself not 
want to eat it any further until we've done this video, which was very, very hard to do. I managed to restrain myself, but yeah, this, this is going to be finished today, I think. And car headers, they're a beautiful snack and they seem to be popular in a few different Central American countries that we've been to as well. Yeah, but they are very sweet. Yes, so you've got to be in the mood for some car heifers. Yes, yes. So, yeah, if you need an energy boost, that could be a good option. And just having a local make these empanadas for us, that was so lovely. Yeah, really so, special. Yeah, that was a very nice thing to sample the culture through the food. And these, these chocolates as well. Yippee! Yippee. Can't go past that name. So anyway, let us know what you think would be your favourite. If there's any snacks or sweets from Costa Rica that we haven't tried that you'd recommend, please let us know. We hope you like this video on Costa Rica snacks. We are Bucket List Travellers. See you next time.